Hello there, Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and today I wanted to talk about how to create a animated header for your WordPress blog or website. Um, we'll be using Photoshop for today's tutorial and an example would be I created a full width rotating header image to jazz up one of my websites and we're going to be demonstrating that today basically how to add some more um, eye grabbing content to your site by taking advantage of the header space usually set aside for your logo and uh, let's get started I'm going to use Photoshop for this I'm using an older version and any version will do. Um, there are other programs out there to create animated GIF files. Um, people pronounce that differently, but I like to use the G. And you can do a search for animated GIF creators or software, and there are several tools online that will let you do it. Some of them have limitations on size and stuff like that, so in this case I want to make a 960 by 100 um, header image. So I've already got those numbers in, 960 width by 100 high, go ahead and create that image. And so we have our first layer, let's go ahead and just put something simple on there. the color on that. <clears throat> and we have our first layer. Let's change the background color on that to let's see. scale mode. Let's there we go. Okay, so our first slide is gold. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. And we'll move one of these up here. Turn that off. Let's change this color to blue that slide one that'll be blue turn those off we'll make this let's just make it green okay and this one is gold okay, and I did it that way so that you can have separate layers, see the separate layers, and you can have any content as you that you want on these layers. Images, uh, symbols, uh, whatever you want to fit in here. Graphics, text. 
so in this case we're going to just keep it simple so the only one I have showing right now is the gold slide slide one now let's go in here and edit these uh, text right here so this one will be slide two that will be slide one this one will be slide two start with our first one it's blue and you want to open up your animation window let's go up to window animation open up the animation bar and it's showing what you have visible we're going to do our blue slide first and there it is we're going to just simplify it clicking this little button here which duplicates the current slide now that slide is selected. You can tell that by the blue highlight. With the second slide selected, I'm going to change to the green. If you notice, the slide reflects what I'm now showing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. Now that I'm on slide three, I'm going to go ahead and modify to the gold one. Okay. So as you can see, slide 1 shows the blue, slide 2 shows the green, slide 3 shows the gold. Now you can set the time duration on each slide. So let's go with 5 seconds, and 5 seconds, and 5 seconds. Okay, and you can test it here. working good alrighty so pretty much done like I said you can put graphics in here photographs um, text put uh, your website name your header your banner title your logo whatever you want inside these images and once you create your slides and what you want represented on each slide based on your layers that are visible you can go ahead and save and export your file. Um, you can save it for the web. And you want to select GIF. And I usually do a dither. It doesn't um, particularly matter. Um, and it's personal preference. Depends on what you want to present and your size limitations so I'm going with the highest and go ahead and save that I'll just call it banner test go ahead and save that and we'll get out of Photoshop and let's go to my dashboard and currently I have this rotating banner with my logo and site name and some other stuff that I want people to see I'm going to change that by going to my dashboard appearance theme options brings you to your Again, I'm using the responsive theme, so it brings you to your theme options. I'm going to click on Logo, Upload, click here, and it'll show you what your current banner 
image is. And if you have nothing in here, then it just has the default header, logo, and title. I'm going to click on Browse so that we can upload. And let's see, we called it Banner Test. And there it is, Banner Test. And if you notice the dimensions, 960 by 100. It pays to know what size you want it. So that you can <clears throat> uh, create your image in the size that you need it. And you have options here to crop it. And in this case, we're not going to crop it. But you would just drag drag it to wherever you wanted to crop the image and select crop and publish but in this case we're just going to select skip cropping and publish image as is okay so we do that and now your animated gif is published and it is a header on your website now if I go to my website and refresh the page I now have a new banner header rotating five second intervals that we just created in Photoshop. And it can be text, images, graphics, logo, advertisement, whatever you want it to be. Highlight different aspects of your site or your blog, articles, um, what have you. Um, but it's just a quick, simple way to use a friendly image format that all browsers recognize and uh, present some nice rotating slides for your header. Alright, so I hope this was helpful for some and uh, I had a few questions on it. wanted to address it and show you a simple way to create these rotating images. What I'm going to do now is return my banner image back to its original header go back to my dashboard and I'm going to select that particular one let's see Basically, I'll have to reselect it from the library. There we go. Alrighty, and we go back to our site. Refresh. And it's back to the image that I had before that I created in Photoshop. Okay, so any version of Photoshop will do. Um, I know not everyone has Photoshop or can get Photoshop, but you can get look for an older version. Um, it's still powerful and will allow you to do a lot of simple stuff that will enhance your site. You often need to make graphics or buttons or uh, little page elements or designs. And 
Photoshop and Illustrator both allow you to do a really good job of that. Alright, so any questions, just contact me at myvisionmedia.net, and I hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to you soon. Alright, bye.